Hi. I believe we're live. I'm just checking to see if it comes up. Um, I'm using some new software. Imagine that. Uh, oh, it's coming up there. Cool. That means... I am using some new software, so um, should be able to see. Let me see if I can turn this one off. Yes, I can. Okay. There we go. You should be able to see everything. It should be great. Um, I know we're a little bit behind schedule today, but hey, it is what it is. So, what we're talking about this week in Fairy Blog Motherland is, of course, marketing but specifically how to become an expert in your field. You think about it, I'm considered an expert in cybersecurity. I have 40 years experience in, in the in information technology arena. I have more certifications than you can imagine. And I've been doing cybersecurity as it is, um, as it is now, basically, for about 20 years. I think I'm an expert, right? I'm considered an expert in the field. Now, does that mean that in marketing, you have to have a degree and all these certifications and, and you know, um, 40 years experience? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Does it mean that you got to know what you're talking about? Sure, absolutely, you do. So think about your niche and you got to consider some things. Who is your audience? Are you talking about beginning bloggers? Then an expert for beginning bloggers could very well be someone that's been blogging, say, six months a year, if that's their niche, right? If it's beginning bloggers that your audience is, you know, if, if your uh, audience is single moms, then chances are pretty good you probably need to be a single mom or have been a single mom and have some experience in that, right? So it doesn't mean anything by years or, or degrees or anything like that. It, it means experience level, for sure. Now, there is a standard, and I use that in quotes, air quotes. There's a standard that says that to be an expert in your field, you have to have done it about 12 months. The reason they say 12 months is because that's what they feel is about the amount of time you would need to learn your niche, right? To learn what all it's about, to do research, to find out, you know, what you're going to do. I think that's a good rule of thumb. However, it may not take you a year to be an expert, right? Are you going to be an expert overnight? Absolutely not. Not because you don't know your content, but because you pro if you're a brand new blogger or you're brand new to the industry, you don't know the industry. You don't know your online marketing. You don't know anything about it, right? So I'm going to say my rule of thumb is about six months, honestly, to become an expert. And I'm talking an expert. Does not mean you sh cannot coach. Does not mean you cannot go ahead and share your, your knowledge. Absolutely not. But it does mean to be considered an expert. I'm going to say you need at least six months in the industry in this business. Okay? So think about the kind of things, you know, that, that's going to make you an expert. And we're going to be going into this in depth and some ideas that I have that will help you um, on Thursday night. That's what our, our post is all about. I mean, our uh, master class is all about on Thursday night. So I just want to kind of give you a preview of this now. Um, but to become an expert, you know, there's a lot of ways. Of course, being visible, right? Become known. Blog or something to get the word out that you are you know this topic. You have information to share on this topic. Not just sell, guys, but information that you want to share on this topic, okay? Um, you can become a guest blogger or a guest poster, right? Um, for someone else in your industry, that may or may not be ahead of you. Preferably that is ahead of you. But hey, you know, that does work. Um, you know, it does something different than you. You know, marketing, for example, is a really big platform. So I could be an expert in email marketing. And somebody else could be an expert in social media marketing, right? And we could both have really high scores in, in our area, but not in the others, right? So you got to think about it like that as well. What else can you do to become an expert? 
Um, you can speak at events. You can um, do guest uh, master classes or guest webinars for people. Um, you know, you got to get your name and your knowledge out there for free, you guys, for free, for a while. You cannot expect just to jump out tomorrow and start making money on being an expert in this field. Could I have done it with cybersecurity? Maybe, but I'm also already known in the industry as cybersecurity, right? So if you're already known as a marketing professional in the industry, then yeah, you probably could become an expert in a week, right? Online. Uh, but if this is a brand new platform for you or something that you're not already known in the industry as an expert, you're going to have to work at it. And the way you're going to work at it is like you do anything else in your business. You know, you got to get yourself known. You have to have some traffic. You have to, you know, do some blog posts or some reporting or something to get yourself out there. Um, a great way, I, I know but most of us hate it, but it's in Facebook groups, other Facebook groups, not our own, that you can share your knowledge. I'm not talking about selling your products. I'm talking about sharing your knowledge, helping people in your industry, right? To get through to things, you know, to understand things, helping them for free is always, always a good way. You can make money in another way, but... You know, this is to get yourself known as an expert. There's all kinds of things that you can actually do to become one. But I, I just want to kind of let you know that you should be getting yourself out there for free. Unless you're already an expert in your field. Okay? So let's talk about some other things. You know, there are tons and tons of people online these days. And one of the biggest, biggest things that is up and coming across all the platforms is video. If you have not been doing video or you are not doing video, you need to get there. You need to get there because there is statistics that state that by next year, by June of next year, if you're not using video, you're done. Now, could it be a fad? Sure, but I doubt it. And the reason I say that is because think about it. What do you like to do? I watch videos, right? Is it easier for me to turn on a video or an audio and just listen and do something else? Sure. Do I want to sit and read a th thousand, two thousand, three thousand word blog post? Depends on what it is, but probably not, right? That's kind of, that doesn't mean blogging's dead. That means you've got to have something in addition. So you want to give your customers an option for one thing. Think about other things. Social media, you know. Instagram used to be just, and I do mean just, a picture place, right? Some place you went and looked at pretty things or looked at things or looked at people being stupid or whatever. They've gone away from that. Guess what they're all about now? Video, right? TikTok, oh my God, video, right? Twitch even was a big gamer platform. And, and the gamers would literally go on there and play a game while live. It helps gamers, believe it or not. It helps other gamers. But they play a game while live and you could actually see the moves that they're making, right? And um, they would show this on Twitch. Well... I've been reading some stuff about that lately that says that Twitch is kind of going by the wayside. Everybody's going to YouTube. YouTube is big. It is huge. YouTube shorts are huge. Uh, look those up if you've not heard of them. They're basically TikToks, but they're like less than two minutes. And it's really funny because when I first started on, on YouTube, I started a thing called Two Minute Tech Tips. Because I figured people just didn't have time to, you know, for an hour and a half video most of the time. They just wanted to know how to make it to make it work. You know, this was back when iPhones were first coming out really heavy. And people wanted to know how to find my messages or how to find my, you know, phone, how to make a call, those kind of things. So it was two minutes worth of showing them, you know, click here, touch this here, do this, right? 
here's the settings. This is the thing you want to use. So, um, you know, two minute tech tips and I still do them. You want to keep your 30 minute, your videos to 30 minutes or so if you can, because over 30 minutes and people are really getting bored unless it's a deep seated tutorial and think about it when I, and I do watch them, but when I watch those, there's a specific need I have. I need to learn how to uh, work with Ecamm. I'm going to watch that sucker from beginning to end, even if it's two hours long, as long as they are showing me how to use it. Now, if ever they kind of go off on a tangent and start talking about other things, I'm done. But if they're showing me how to use it, then I'm there, okay? Uh, James Wedmore is famous for his three-hour, and I mean three-hour, training sessions. But you don't really realize they're three hours because it is packed full of training. Just constant training, training, training on a particular subject like sales pages or like email marketing or whatever he is doing. And I mean, he's good at it. I can't do three hour videos. I can't personally do them and I can't sit through even his as good as they are. So that is a certain audience that he reaches, right? Um, I find that my sweet spot is somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. Um, you know, if I'm doing a um, evaluation between two pieces of software, probably 30 minutes be it the most. If I'm doing a tutorial that shows you how to use a piece of software, I'd say 45 to an hour. But if I'm just doing a quick talk like these, 15 minutes, 30 minutes is about it, right? Usually around 15. My master classes tend to be between 37 and 45 minutes, depending on how, you know, what the subject is and how much of a rant I go off on. Oh my goodness, my eye is killing me today. What's going on? Anyway, so consider that as well. Um, think about yourself, how you like to watch things. Now, not your entire audience is going to be like you, and I recognize that. But you might even poll your audience, you know. How long do you want to see videos where I'm a talking head and I'm talking about something? How long do you want to see, you know, how long is too long for you to sit through a video where I'm showing you how to use something? You know, your audience will tell you, right? So, but video is where it's at, you guys. It really, really is. Instagram Reels, TikTok, uh, Facebook Lives. You know, everything is going to be that way. Um, video in your courses, video in your, you know, in your groups, in your um, master classes, webinars, you know, things like that. And no, webinars are not dead, but here's what is dead. People are sick to death of watching a one-hour webinar that has no real function other to sell you something. I don't do those. I won't do those, right? Um does that mean I never sell you anything? No. What that means is what you get from me and what you get from James Wedmore and what you get from several others out there are true, honest to God training all the way up till the end. And then we're going to tell you about something we might have for sale, right? But what you get is you could take that training all by itself and do something with it without spending a dime. That's what, that's what it's all about there, okay? You know, I may send you to a sales page later, but that's not what this training is all about. You could walk away with this training without spending a dime. And that's the idea. Okay. So webinars are not dead. Just the type of webinar that's nothing but fluff and wants to sell you something is. Um, so video, 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 video. Get, get with the program. I know you may be scared of it. It's not a big deal, guys. I promise you. Create yourself a group that is just you, a private group that is just you, and practice going live in that group over and over. Then you can rewatch it, and then you can go live, and you can invite someone you trust to come in that group and, you know, watch them and see what they thought of your lives, things like that, right? Nobody in the world has to know except you, and that's the way you practice. That's the way you get good at it. The best way, the best advice I ever got about that, believe it or not, was Kelly Thorson, who said, you get better 
you get better. If you do it every day or you do it several times a week, you get better. That's just all there is to it. You get you can't help but get better. It gets to where it's just second nature to you. So practice going live. Go live a lot. And that's all the marketing stuff, right? That's all about marketing. Let me tell you what else we've got coming up. We have the Thursday night pack full of uh, information and training. Um, and I'm going to give you some really cool things to do and cool things to, to choose for that training as well. We've got that coming up. We have that this week is all about uh, becoming the expert, like I said. And you'll hear quite a bit about that from me. And there's some blog posts out there that you're going to want to see at fairytechstrategies.com. Um, there's the marketing checklist that's free that you can sign up for at fairytechstrategies.com. And let's see, I still have the uh, marketing spreadsheet that keeps track of your analytics. I have that for email marketing. And I'm probably going to be offering another paid webinar here coming up pretty soon. Um, but I'm not sure yet. So just hold on to that. Other than that, that's what this week is. I'll come on, of course, next week and tell you. If I have any rants and raves, I'll let you know on Monday. On Tuesday, usually it's about analytics of some sort. But today, it's just a precursor to Thursday. And that's what Tuesdays could can be as well. Um, I may start using Mondays as a uh, comparison, you know, some how-to videos or some, um, you know, different this versus that kind of thing. I think that would be fun to do, and I think you guys would get some real value out of that. Um, and then if I need to rant, I will. But I, I think that's what we're going to start using Monday afternoons for. So... Uh, I've been testing a lot of things lately, things like different um, different website uh, builders, you know, Kartra, Kajabi, um, System.io, which is one of my favorites, Allure, which is absolutely one of my favorites, and I'll be doing some comparison on those that will help you. They're all-in-ones, those are, and why you should use those instead of WordPress. Um, some email marketing suggestions, you know, AWeber versus ConvertKit versus MailChimp versus MailerLite, those kind of things. Be doing some of that. Um, and there's just and some video programs, some audio programs, some um, graphic programs. I found a couple of new graphic programs that I really like. They're the same price as Canva or less. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, I love Canva, but now everybody's looking like Canva, right? So I wanted something kind of different, and uh, I found a few things that are different. I don't know if you've been seeing my social media or not this last week, but I've been doing quite a bit of that, um, and it's really cool. Excuse me, throat was dry. So uh, there's that coming up. Um, so anyway, I'm always open to help you guys in any way you need it. Feel free to reach out. If you need to book a call with me, you can certainly do that. Um, I will be happy. If you're not one of my members already, then I'll be happy to chat with you the first time for free. Absolutely. Um, and then if you want to become a member of my um, Magical Maintained uh, group, then reach out to me and let me know. Right now, I'm maintaining websites for people, but as more and more are moving to all-in-one platforms, what we're doing is we're using that as sort of your path to me. You get one one-on-one -on -one call every week um, to talk about where you want to go, what you want to do with your website, how I can help you set that up, um, things like that. So uh, if you want to join that, let me know. Um, and let's see, I think... I think, I think, I think that's about all I got to cover. I can't see who you are, but somebody says, give me the real info. Okay. <laughs> I'll be happy to. Um, in any, any case, that's kind of what we're going to be using uh, coming up. I mean, what we're going to be doing coming up. Gosh, my brain is just not with me today. You ever do that? 
your brain just kind of goes somewhere and you don't know where you left it. Maybe I didn't have it. Who knows? Um, so anyway, if you have any, you have any more questions or anything, um, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Otherwise, can't find anything. I don't see anything, but who knows what I'm doing. Oh, there I am. Here we go. Um, if there's anything else that I can do for you. Oh, Janice, yeah. <laughs> I just talked to you, didn't I? <laughs> if there's anything else that I can do for you guys, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday, if not sooner, okay? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Talk to you later. Bye.